Do you know who you're sleeping with? National news agencies and the CDC are charting an alarming resurgence in the population of bed bugs. Bed bugs kind of weird me out. Ooh! Oh, gross. That is just disgusting. Infestations are showing up in hospitals, five-star hotels, as well as homes just like yours. Well, now you can sleep worry-free with Bed Defense, the simple, non-toxic, all-natural, and clinically proven way to make sure the bed bugs don't bite. Simply place the Bed Defense disc under your mattress, and its combination of safe and effective natural oils creates a protective barrier around your bed to keep the bed bugs away from the bed and out of your home. Clinical studies have shown that Bed Defense demonstrated 100% repellency of bed Bugs. And unlike toxic sprays, Bed Defense is always working, protecting you all day and while you sleep. That's why Bed Defense is one of the top selling bed bug products in America today. With its compact no spill container, it's perfect to pack for hotels over and over again. Place it wherever your pet sleeps to keep your dog or cat safe from these pesky predators. The New York Times says for bed bugs, many pesticides don't work, and some that do are banned. So don't wait until these blood sucking parasites are giving you itchy red welts and the exterminator has to come out for hundreds or thousands of dollars. When you call now, you get the one-step all-natural non-toxic bed defense disc with 60 days of protection They're for the low, low and stronger than ever. Do you know how to keep bed bugs out of your home? The answers could help you sleep at night. So here's the big question. Does anyone think that they're safe from bed, from bed bugs? Put your hands up. Quite a few people. Pamela, come join me, Pamela. Where are you from, Pamela? Piscataway. Piscataway. Yes. All right, now, one of the issues with Pamela is that she's got to be able to figure out something about bed bugs that most people don't appreciate, which is how close they are to you all the time. So, if you don't mind, take that off. Uh -huh. There Ooh. they are. Can you all see these? See those bed bugs there? Oh, my. Oh. They're sort of cute, aren't they? No. <laughs> I mean, you see that nice? They're fascinating. They go to the heat. They're sealed inside, so they can't get out at okay. you. And we're completely okay. safe in the, in the audience. Uh, I can see people squirming in their chairs a little bit. But these bed bugs can get on you in a lot of different ways. And when they're fully grown, come look at this. I want to show you something. See how big they can get? Ooh. And that Lincoln head on a penny is about the size of a bed bug that's actually chewed its way through your skin and engorged itself with your blood. Mm. Pretty typical. What I could do now, if you're okay with it, is show you an animation of something that I think is happening all over the country. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right. This animation shows you sleep. You're comfortably resting there in bed. And without realizing it, when it gets dark, because the bed bugs hate the light, they start coming out. They start to swarm. They love the heat, and they love the darkness. And as they swarm, they come up on your skin. And once they get under your skin, they look for an open patch where they can just realize their nutrition is just an inch away, and then they bounce. And as they pounce in, they begin to suckle and take out the blood. And they love, as they engorge themselves with your blood, getting a nice big meal. Oh. And then they quickly scurry back before the evening's up. So what do you think about that? Oh, I don't like it. Don't like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, do you think you're at risk? Yes, I do. I do. Because what? <laughs> when you travel and you go to hotels, mm -hmm. and, you know, I take Lysol and I spray the room, and. You know, I'm scared now. I'm looking at this. It still can get on you. All right, let me show you something. This is a map showing the United States and the major infestations that have occurred over the last few years. Look at that. In every major urban area, pretty much, just about every state, by the way. This is just the big infestations, the reported ones. There are, of course, many, many smaller ones. And exterminators tell us that every state in the union has bed bugs. And get this. The incidence of bed bugs has gone up 500% five times increase over the last few years. I mean, it's impressive. So your neighbors, if you don't have them, your neighbors are suffering from bed bugs. What? Now, I bring this all up because this is the kind of topic that I love getting into because we can actually do a lot to avoid it. So let me get you back in your seat for a second okay. uh, and explain to everybody, thank you very much, a little bit about bed bugs. And to help me with this, I've asked Dr. Deanie Miller. Deanie, come join me up, you don't mind. Thank you very much. Have a seat. She's an epidemiologist, and, sorry, not an epidemiologist, an onto, entomologist. 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 She's a specialist in bugs. Right. 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 And she's uh, been talking a lot about bed bugs, and we've learned a lot from you, so thank mm -hmm. you for joining us. So talk a little bit to everybody about what kinds of homes are susceptible to bed bugs. 
Well, the bed bugs really don't discriminate. They're very equal opportunity. They don't care if you're rich or you're poor, what color you are, what religion you might be. And I've had everybody try and tell me, the people who get infested, they're trying to blame it on their neighbor or blame it on one group of people or another group of people. What bed bugs are mainly attracted to are people, period. So if you don't have a rash, you know, how many of you have a bed bug rash right now? Good. Did you make a I got one. You had one, right? Yeah. How'd you get one? Uh, I had them feed on me yesterday before oh. I came. <laughs> <laughs> so some of us like this sort of thing, you know. So uh, if you don't have a rash, it's, it, it's, is it possible for you still to have bed bugs in your home? Yes, it absolutely is. You know, my husband um, works with me. And he has no reaction whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And so technically, I could have bed bugs in my house and could mm -hmm. have them in there for a good long time. And if it was just him there, he might not ever know it. Now, I have a reaction that takes place in about uh, less than 24 hours. So if, if someone watching the show right now wants to understand what the real risks are for them mm -hmm. getting bed bugs, and obviously most of us don't have it in our home. So the risks actually happen outside the home. So walk me right. through them. So what's the number one major way to get them? Well, if you'd asked me this question a couple years ago, I would have said staying in hotels, that you're okay. going to bring them home in your luggage. But I would say today that's kind of changed. This is people buying used furniture or, like I work in a university town, people picking up furniture that they see next to the dumpster. Right. And then there's one way that I just learned about, which is just through casual contact. Yeah, well... Which that would, be a, that would be difficult to do, but there is one, one pest control operator that I'm friends with up in Michigan who actually found out that a source of an infestation in this one group of apartments was due to one, um, I guess, pretty handsome guy who was visiting various ladies in the apartment <laughs> complex and staying over there, and they couldn't find out where these infestations were coming from until they got back to his apartment. So, so let that be a lesson to Yes. <laughs> it's always the guy's fault. Right. So, actually, Pamela, come up here, Pamela, for a second, if you don't mind. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, Pamela, but uh, I, I brushed up close to you yes. when we were looking at those bed bugs over there. Mm -hmm. And do you think we'll see this over here on Pamela's shoulder? <laughs> What do we think that is? That's a bed bug? It's, well, it's not a real one. It's a fake bed bug. But can we all see that right there? Now, that handsome little critter was placed there without too much difficulty. You didn't notice it. No. They could jump. Uh, and, in, in fact, that's one of the ways that people do get them. They spread from each other. And so I point that out to you. I'll give that. You want that? You know what? You keep that. It's a little more. Okay, as long as it's fake. You know, and then, so they don't fly through the air, but they can fall from me into you. Uh, and likewise in your bed, actually, they can fall in your, from your pillow onto your shoulders. It's one of the ways that bed bugs can get over barriers that are sometimes there. And remember, if you just look around here for a second, that's one bed bug, right? Mm -hmm. and look at this animation. So that one bed bug, and it starts small, but it can quickly reproduce itself. And as it does that, it'll become three or four. Then each of them starts to make kids, oh, and each wow. of them. And in one year, each bed bug can make 500 babies that grow up in the bed bugs again. So these things grow pretty quickly. So, you think you're safe? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, thanks for coming.